I love the samples um, that were made because they were, they really brought it to life and they were so um, you know and just sort of provoked more questions in a way that you know you found that you could make them either in acetate or metal. Mm. And it was a real um, discussion point and brought them to life. I thought that was great. Yeah, I like the practical aspect definitely. And anybody out there who's an individualist that wants to kind of uh, really decorate their glasses, um, why not? You know? Yeah. Yeah. There's ideas that you can translate into something that is very commercial. Yeah. I think they're fashionable. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Adding emotion to glasses, mm. I think that's... Uh, yeah. Adding wit to glasses is really quite hard to do. Yeah, in a sophisticated And I like that yeah. like they've all tried to do that. You know, they've all added to only make them as fun and as appealing as possible. I think it's interesting how everybody is so different from each other in the way that they're approached it. Yeah. You know that the brief is quite specific, but everybody's kind of done it in their own way. It's just like everybody's good enough. It's just what you need in that role, you know? Well, the judges, we've, we've decided on Nicola Brindle as the winner for the competition. And what impressed us the most, I think, was um, your depth of research and, and bringing your ideas um, to fruition, basically. Your samples are really impressive, but really well thought out too, to the fact that they're completely wearable. Um, and it made us smile. <laughs> you know, having that wit and um, just finding things amusing and, yeah, I thought that was really, we warmed to it. Thank you. <laughs> I'm feeling really excited. It hasn't sunk in yet, but I'm really looking forward to this year and seeing what happens learning new things and just carrying on with my work would be great.